Hello friends, welcome to Developers Tube. My name is Ismail Sodagar. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about C-sharp language. What is C-sharp language? What are the advantages? Why we use it? So let us go to our first slide. C-sharp is a computer programming language. So it is what it is. It is a computer programming language, a language by using which we write a computer program. Why we need a programming language? So there is obvious a question why we need a computer programming language because computer does not understand human language. So and only computer understands binary language. So humans cannot write the binary language because it will be very typical for us. So scientists have developed some languages, programming languages, which a human can learn easily and the output is converted into binary language so that can computer understands. So generally in programming language, we are having instructions which we want to do to computer to perform some action. Mm -hmm. So for why we use programming language for interacting with computer or giving instruction to computer. So there are some types of programming language. These include procedural programming language and object oriented programming language. So in procedural programming language, the examples are C language, Pascal, COBOL, Fortran and object oriented programming language examples are c sharp and java so c sharp was introduced in 2001 and the version was 1.0 the latest version of c sharp is c sharp 11 and it is released in november 2022 now we'll see the difference between procedural programming versus object oriented programming so in procedural programming the program is divided into small parts called functions so pro functions are also called procedures. So the program which contains only procedure or which is dependent on procedures or function is called procedure oriented programming. On the other hand, in object oriented programming, the, pro the program is divided into small parts called objects. As we uh, in csharp.net, we create the classes and by using the classes, we create the objects. So object is the main entity here and in procedural programming function or procedure is the main entity. Procedural programming follows a top-down approach. So top-down approach means suppose I am I want to perform some action. So I have to write the code in top-down manner. Suppose I want to add two numbers. So the, for adding the two number, I will create one function or procedure. So before calling it, the function should be declared. If I will call a function before uh, defi defining the function, then in that case, it will give error. So it is top-down approach. Object oriented programming follows a bottom up approach means in object oriented programming, we are having some methods, some procedures and uh, some classes object which we are calling. So we can define anywhere the object. We can call the procedure on the top from the top of the language, like in the bottom of the program. I, I, uh, I have created one procedure and I'm calling on the top. So it is valid here. There is no access specified in procedural programming. So in uh, procedure programming, uh, we are having the data that is no access specified means data can be accessed from anywhere in the program. So data is accessible from anywhere in the program. There is no any access specifier, but in case of object oriented programming, we have access specifier. Access specifier defines that the particular variable or data which a data entity which we are defining is accessible from where, who can access, who cannot access. So for that, we use access specifiers and the example of access specifiers are private, public, protected, etc. Adding new data and function is not easy. So in procedural programming, it is not easy to add data and function. Adding new data and function is easy in object-oriented programming. Procedural programming is used for designing medium-sized program. So if the program is medium-sized and it is not large, so in that case, uh, it is good to write the program or that type of program we can write in the procedural programming. We cannot write the complex program or big programs in object oriented programming. We use this object oriented programming for creating large applications or complex programs. Code usability absent in procedural programming. So we cannot use the code in procedural programming, but in object oriented programming, code reusability is possible because in object oriented programming, we are having inheritance concept so in inheritance from the existing one, we can derive new classes and create new objects. So the new object contains the existing functionality of parent class. The example of procedure-oriented programming languages are C, Fortran, Pascal. 
example of object oriented programming is c++ java python c sharp etc now we'll understand why we use c sharp so what are the uses of c sharp c sharp is used for creating web application mobile applications web services desktop application database application games etc so these uh, for this purpose we use c sharp language and why we are using c sharp language so one of the most popular programming language in the world is c sharp it is easy to learn and simple to use c sharp is an object oriented language which gives a clear structure to program so c sharp is object oriented and we have understand what is object object oriented actually and it gives a clear structure to the program and allows code to be used lowering development costs mm -hmm. so it also lowers the development cost so this is all about c sharp language so today we have covered introduction to c sharp in our next topic we'll see some very important topic which will enhance your knowledge and I have given the link of the playlist in the description. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.